thank God. Thank this uh, child, this child came here but lived by the Lord. She lives in danger. Her husband and I were close friends in the ministry. He was a police detective like other many said he was. Uh, he worked in Homicide, didn't he? For uh, over 20 some years. And he was a wonderful man of God. One of the people the Lord that founded the church in um, West Palm Beach, Military Trail, Shakana uh, Christian uh, Temple there. And uh, wonderful work for God. It's, that church is strong now. Brother Joe Garrick's there. The young man who came up in their ministry. But Sister Williams carries the fire in her soul. And I encourage her to come back and be with us again. Amen. 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 I oh, just wanted to take just a few minutes to <coughs> thank each one of you and uh, you've been so kind and gracious to me, especially your ability and your desire to worship the Lord. Yes, amen. The high praises in our mouth, amen. amen. And this word of God, amen. 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 This power, amen. 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 But, um, you know, I've gone by this saying, I guess, all my life. My value to God when I stand before men is determined to what I do in private. Oh, yes. 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 That's the truth. Yes. That's the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. My value to God when I stand to preach the word, amen. Amen is determined to the time that I spend with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Prayer is something that will open heaven to your soul. Amen. Amen. We've had many ministers in our home over the years, and the Lord would move on me in the middle of the night to get up and pray. And I can remember taking pillows into my laundry room and laying on that tile floor and covering myself with the pillows so I wouldn't wake anybody in the house. The desire to touch Jesus would be so real. Amen. Amen. If, you're, if you're honest in your prayer closet with God, when you stand to testify, or stand to sing, or go to witness, will be demonstrated, amen, by the time that you've spent. I want to close with this thought. You know, when uh, Jesus went into Jericho, and the Bible said as he was coming out, he heard somebody calling his name, and of course everybody tried to cry him down. But Jesus cried out the shortest, if not the shortest, prayer in the Bible. Come on. That blind beggar sat there and he cried, Jesus, come on, Jesus. thou son of David, son of David. Have, mercy have mercy on me. Upon me. Nine little words. Everybody can say that, can't we? Jesus, thou son of David. That's all you have to pray. Amen. I mean, people, they say, I don't know. I don't know how to pray. Just get in your prayer closet, right. children, and just say, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh. Amen. Now, I've told you all about my husband dying, but I'm going to give you a miracle, amen, to leave you with. My husband uh, died of my, um, multiple myeloma. It's cancer of the blood and the bone. And the doctors had told me that he would be in horrible, horrible pain. Jesus. My husband left this world without feeling one pain. Right. Yeah. And the doctors could not understand it. But Brother Williams said they, they, the doctors had turned him over to hospice. And um, uh, my daughter and I spent the nights with Brother Williams the last 10 uh, days of his life. I never left in there, amen, and I'm so glad I didn't. Right. And as you older couples know, you frequently talk about your passing with one another yes. and the desires of your heart for the one that's left. 
And uh, we always said this, and this was both of our desire, that we would know, each one of us would know that the other one was with us when we passed. But my husband had not opened his eyes. He had not said a word in 10 days. But the 24th of April, four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> the spirit of the Lord came and just filled that room. A hospice nurse said, Mrs. Williams, he's stirring. So my daughter and I got up close to him. And he opened his eyes for the first time in 10 days. And he looked right into my face. And he said, I love you. He knew I was there. He knew I was there. And we had always said, even if I was just going to the grocery store, we would say, how about a little kiss? And when he said, I love you, I said, well, how about a little kiss? And he lifted his head and kissed me, closed his eyes, and three hours later, he went to be with the Lord. Amen. It's a miracle, isn't it? It's a miracle. He knew I was there. Amen. And I heard his voice. Amen. Isn't it beautiful? again how much I love this church and God knows how I love brother and sister Marlowe. I just ask you to continue to pray for me as I travel. My children aren't too excited about it, but I am. Yes. Anyway, praise yes, the Lord. All right. you know, I guess most children get kind of scared when, they're when their parents get old, but amen. There's somebody always with me, so yes. praise amen. the Lord. God bless amen. all of you. Amen. Watch over you and keep you. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we don't know the day or an hour, That's right. but he's coming soon. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.